this whole mindset you have around taskifying, job description, this is something I really admire from you. And like, how did you nurture that? Was that something you've always had? Or like, how do you start breaking <laughs> down tasks when job descriptions? <laughs> Were you, did I mean, you come out of the womb with this knowledge? <laughs> Well, I came out of the womb with just laziness. <laughs> I think it really was, you know, like you, you put me to do a task and I start doing it. And after a while, I'm like, I don't want to do this. So ever since I was young, I was like, how can I get other people to do this? And what's, what's really, really cool when you're starting out and you're scrappy and you're young, which I love because I miss it. It's like that resourcefulness that you learn is by far the the most uh, infinitely wisdom nut like whatever you want to call it, that strength is something that all successful entrepreneurs have. It's just like, how do I make this $1 into 10 or 20? And so one of the biggest examples I, I have is, is barter arbitrage, is service, is basically whatever you're doing, like we talked about, there's other people out there that can do things that are really, really, um, uh, that you really hate. Same thing, you can do your, whatever you're doing that you love, other people hate. You can trade that for their skills. And so when I was first beginning, I was trading my photography skills for website and development. So I was like, hey, I'll come and take profile photos of you, insert whatever you want, or make ads and videos for you in exchange, help me build my website or help me do my copywriting. And as you build more services and provide more value, you, your packages become more, you can buy, and you have uh, case studies, you can use that and go out and recruit people to your team and at cost of your services. So let's say I'm charging $1,000 for my service, but it costs me 500. You effectively can get someone else's services for 50% discount. So I'm using that as much as possible. And my, my SEO agency is that like, as every time that I, I, I go out and, and try to recruit an agency to work with me, the first thing I say is, do you need, I, I, like what you say, I do the sales pitch. I'm like, Hey, I saw your websites, this, 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 let me offer your SEO package and in, in exchange. And we, and so many people take me up with that deal. So if you're resourceful, you learn it from a very, very, the very beginning, as you progress and grow your business, the amount of resources that you grow now, you can be even more resourceful than that and, and make that $1 effectively be 10. Hmm. Yeah. I, I love this lazy mindset methodology as well, because I can relate to that as well. And it's actually something that pushes me to hire. And I would say I often over hire, but it allows me to kind of figure things instead of paying for time, I pay money for things to be discovered faster, which sometimes might not be the most efficient, but it allows me to move quickly and something that I do enjoy. I, I was going to ask you about some of the core habits as well, because you're operating your business very, very lean. Like I would say most people are trying to get to a point where they can work particularly on what they love and and just be super effective. Um, I, I just want to know, like, what are some of the key habits that we should be doing, maybe even early in the business, that makes us better at getting to the point where you are now? You got to track all your numbers. That's the hardest thing I, 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 that is, I think, when, you, when you're first beginning because you just want sales. But you need to check your numbers. You need to check everything. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is using software because it's 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 grueling manually and, and putting stuff into spreadsheets. So I try to keep track of all my traffic. We talked about uh, most businesses. I think I, this realm is, is focusing on two areas, client acquisition and the fulfillment, right? Trying to get the client, selling them all that, reaching out, and then and then fulfilling. So let's focus on the client acquisition part because I think that's going to move the needle for most people. You want to focus on several KPIs is what we call them, but just basically numbers. So how many people are you reaching out on, on DM? How many people are you emailing? How many people are you uh, setting up calls with each week? And of those, how many are you closing? 99% of the time, the first segment of how many out, outward cold emails or DMs is way too low. Like you need to get to the point where you're sending, if you're at zero, start with five. If you're at five, go to 10. If you're at 10, go to 15. Like every, just start getting to, that's the habit to build. It's just reaching out to your ideal client. Go to the pages of people who are significantly bigger than you in your same niche and look at their comment section. 
everyone that's commenting there is like, oh, this is a great tip or how do you do this? Those are potential interested people that you can engage with. Bring them to your DM, start a conversation, set up a call. And if they're a good fit, get them as a client. That That's free. That would take an hour of your time a day. An hour you could send 50 emails. I, I don't know. I don't know. But even just 10 a day consistently over two months, you'll get better at closing deals. You'll get more deal flow. And based on how many clients you can, you can max out your clients in, in, a, in a couple months. Well, I highly approve of your recommendation. It's something that I reinforce with my students all the time. And it's one of the ones that go. people struggle the most with. It's like, ah, uh, you try to find anything else to do except what would be the money-making activity. We had a guest on the show. Uh, he called it MMA. I was like, oh, we're going for a fight? He's like, no, you're focused on money-making activities. Uh, so oh, I really, yeah. really like that. And what you're speaking about here is just initiating conversation. Mm -hmm.